So I think we're all just going to have to be prepared that this is probably going to be the most chaotic video ever um, because I'm just a really chaotic person in general. This is like kind of an intro, kind of not. I don't know if I'm gonna cut this bit. Let's get ready for Kendall calling. So, I've made like a kind of a list of things I need, but like this part of the video is just gonna be me basically like packing all my clothes. Um, I have like a million different things that I need to pack and a million different sections of things that I need to pack because we are camping. So, obviously I'm gonna need my festival clothes, like my planned outfits. Gonna need a lot of backups because the weather in England right now is looking like this. And if I'm honest, I've not got any hope that it's gonna get too much better um, because it is currently Saturday and we are going on Thursday and the rain, and the rain, the weather is looking like it's gonna be raining pretty much. Majority of the time we're there, on and off. Not the whole time, but like throughout the day. So definitely gonna need some backup outfits. Trying to spend my day getting as much sorted as I can ready to go for Thursday because I'm actually driving to Manchester on Monday um, to work for a few days then driving to the Lake District from Manchester on Thursday so yeah I need a whole load of stuff like I said I'm obviously going to need like my, my planned outfits like my festival clothes but then I'm also going to need lots of things for camping like things to sleep in at night things just to chill in like literally backups of everything so yeah this video is literally just going to be me kind of like trying to prep as much as I can really <laughs> It's probably gonna be a mess. Also, excuse the state of my room. I've just stripped my bed, so I've literally just got my mattress protector on right now, but I'm gonna use my bed as kind of a bit of a base of what I'm gonna pack, so. I'm not really sure if this camera angle is doing anything, but here we go. So the first couple of bits that I want to pack are just track suits for the nighttime because obviously we're sleeping in a tent, it's gonna be cold, and I just wanna be like comfy and warm. Um, so I'm gonna take my Adenola, well these are actually Adenola sport joggers and then this is my Adenola t-shirt, um, uh, Adenola hoodie even. And I'm not gonna lie, this tracksuit is on its last legs because I've literally worn it to death and I wore it in the late district a few weeks ago so it's got a couple of like marks on it now anyway. So this can be like a sleeping, chilling tracksuit, doesn't mind if it gets a bit dirty. Um, and then my next tracksuit I'm going to take is my Sisters and Seekers tracksuit. You guys have all seen this before if you've watched my Amsterdam video. Basically wore it the whole time I was in Amsterdam. Um, but yeah, it's literally just the comfiest tracksuit. And it'll be super warm at night to sleep in. So yeah, I'm going to pack that. These are just the matching joggers. And then I'm also going to take this tracksuit that I'm wearing because... Again, just a good tracksuit to take. Super comfy, super warm, but I'm wearing it right now. So I'm obviously not packing it, but I will eventually pack it. Move that over there. Then the next, this isn't really a tracksuit, but it's just a hoodie and joggers, is my Adenola um, green hoodie from the Movement Collection. This was actually, I got this as a sample um, when we had a sample sale just an in staff one um, and it's honestly I love the colour so much and then I've just got another pair of Adenola just black joggers but yeah so the plan is to have four tracksuits including this one um, because we're going for four nights so I feel like having a tracksuit per night slash day it seems sensible to me just because in case the tracksuits get wet or dirty I've got a spare one probably should take an extra one just in case but I don't actually have another like lot of joggers and hoodies if i'm honest that's pretty much my whole whole collection i have literally a million of these sheen bags and um, so i'm thinking oh i don't know what that is so i'm thinking the best thing to do is to put my actual festival outfits in these so that they're all kind of like separated and also then i've got these bags to put like wet stuff in so it doesn't like ruin the rest of my clothes if that makes sense like when i've worn them so I think that's what we're gonna do. So I'm maybe gonna start with like the bottom part of the section. Bearing in mind, I've got clothes that I need to pick up from an in-post locker. I've got clothes that are due to be delivered literally on Monday before I go, so fingers, let's pray. Um, and also I've got clothes 
to pick up in Manchester because I've just done like a last minute like orders of things because I honestly like I've struggled so hard to plan for this and like have outfits I think because of the weather and also because I've had so much going on recently that I've just kind of forgot and then it's got to the week of and I'm like mm, actually I literally have nothing to wear um so yeah I mean we're gonna be optimistic in terms of the my planned outfits because a lot of them involve shorts um but yeah so I'm gonna take these blue denim hot pants from zara these are super flattering and super good quality i actually wore these to part life and i'm not gonna lie they're like a little bit like kind of discolored because I, part life was like so dusty and dirty um but they're just the perfect thing for me to take to another festival because i've kind of already worn them in a little bit um these are from zara they're a size 36 i don't know if that's an 8 or a 10 i seem to think it's a 10 um but they are quite tight I'm not gonna lie and they're a bit bum cheeky but pop those in and then I bought these shorts from TK Maxx these are actually Bershka I've just realized the tags on um but these were six pound and I'm sorry but like how cute are these with the little gems on I know they're not everyone's cup of tea but I thought for a festival they'd be actually be quite cool and these are like more like the jorts I don't know if you can tell like they're a little bit longer not quite jorts maybe like between a hot pant and a jort um, and again, not really something I would normally wear, but these were literally six pound and they are Bershka. Um, so I felt like it was definitely worth it for the first, for the, uh, for the festival. And like, they have this cute little Bershka thing on the back, which I just thought was really cool. So first little sheen bag done, two pairs of shorts in there. I feel like if I can separate everything, it'll be so much easier to find like my outfits and stuff. If I know like everything's in kind of like relevant bags, for example, shorts, tops, dresses, etc. As I was going to find some more tops in my drawer, I found these shorts from Sheen that I completely forgot I'd bought. These are just like, again, some black kind of like hot pants. And these are really cool. Like they're very grungy. It's a very the vibe. Um, so I'm gonna pack those as well. Just a little detour from the top. Next section is gonna be like tops. So I'm gonna take this t-shirt. This is also from TK Maxx. It's just like a David Bowie oversized t-shirt love this because i feel like it just looks really cool and um obviously for a music festival everyone's gonna be in like band tees and stuff but then gonna just take this little white top from primark i need to cut the things out because they really annoy me um i feel like this will just go so cute with those glittery shorts um just kind of a bit of a simple outfit really again this is all weather permitting because i'm not it's not looking hopeful and i look like i might be freezing but couple of ciders down and i'm sure i'll be okay i'm then gonna pack this top from urban outfitters um this was someone bought me this at christmas or for my birthday um and this is really really cute it's got all these little cutouts i feel like it would be a really really nice vibe with just a pair of shorts um and also it's kind of a little bit warmer so if the weather is really cold then this is a really good option but this is what my pile is currently looking like so it's not actually looking too bad i feel like that's quite a good looks quite compact right now i also then have two tops um that are coming in the post so i've got a top from bershka and i'll insert pictures um just so you can see i've got a top from bershka coming and another top from plt coming so hopefully if they come in they're nice then that's my other like set options then i've just found this dress now this it isn't very festival but I thought it would be just a good backup option if I'm really struggling because I don't know about you guys but I have like all these outfits planned out in my head and then I'll get there and I'll just hate everything so this is just a safe safe option if all else fails and this would look cute with like a real like an oversized um jacket or a jumper and it's literally just this black t-shirt fitted dress from PLT but it has like these cutouts at the front it's super flattering super nice would look really cute with just some boots and a jacket so that is another option that i'm gonna take i'm gonna be so real with you guys right now i've literally just sat on my bed for like an hour on my phone um and i've not got any further with anything that i needed to do today so i need to kick my art into gear and actually be productive i don't know why but sometimes i just find it so hard to be productive like I was so good like I was like right I'm gonna film gonna pack loads of stuff for Kendall and then I did like a tiny little bit and I sat down for like what was supposed to be like five minutes on my phone an hour later I was still sat on my phone watching Barbie TikToks so it's now like 20 past five and I really need to get a move on because I need to go see my sister tonight then I like want to get up in the morning and have a go for a run and stuff so like I'm really like this is my window of time to get majority of my shit sorted this weekend so 
I need to do it. Okay, so this is what we're working with so far. I've still got loads of room um, like in the sides and I reckon we could get this pretty high to zip it over. There's also these little pockets at the side as well that I can just pop little things in. So what I'm trying to do is like keep majority of my clothes and stuff all together because basically when we get to the festival site, you the car park is not like near the campsite like you have to park your car and then take all your stuff to pitch up so i'm trying to get like majority of all my stuff in one big bag so i can just drag that and then the camping stuff and i'm just trying to make sure that it's all quite compact and we haven't got to like keep going back and forth and make loads of trips like realistically we're probably gonna have to make it at least two trips but if we could get it in two trips that would be great so yeah i'm just trying to fit it all <laughs> into this massive suitcase <laughs> So I think the next thing that I need to sort out is pants and socks and bras and stuff, which I'm not going to bore you with. I'm also not going to put my underwear all over the internet. So I'm going to get that sorted and then I will come back. I've got my little sheen bag of underwear and then I've also got one of socks. I've just took really thick, um, like, not trainer socks, like thick welly socks almost because i'm pretty much i'm just taking like my converse and my wellies and stuff so i'm just gonna have like warm socks on because to be honest like the ground's probably not gonna be great and if it's cold there's nothing worse than having cold feet so i'm just gonna pop these. What i'm gonna do is just pop these like down the sides and stuff them down there perfect hi everyone so quick turnaround I did tell you guys this was going to be super chaotic, as normal. Basically, it's 20 past two on Sunday. I'm no further on with my packing because I went to my sister's last night, had a bit too much to drink, so I was feeling a bit worse for wear this morning. Very silly of me. Now I'm on the way to go watch Oppenheimer um, at three. So I've had to literally like just get in the shower, get ready, and that's all I've done today. Can I just say as well, I would have gone to see Barbie first, but I'm waiting to watch it with the girls in Manchester, so I'm going to see that on Tuesday. Um, Oppenheimer was not my first first choice, um, but yeah, I'm going to go see that today. Um, I'm a little bit concerned that it's quite a dark film and I'm feeling a little bit, I've got a bit of a sore head, so I guess we're going to see how it goes. But I'm then going to try and get as much done as I can when we get back. It should be like six o'clock when we get back, so I should have like quite a bit of time still um and hopefully i'll be feeling a bit bit better after just chilling all afternoon hey everyone welcome back so i knew this video was gonna be so chaotic because just nothing ever goes to plan basically i think last time i filmed was yesterday i was about to go to the cinema went to see oppenheimer which was like three hours long and i needed to clean my car so I came back, cleaned my car, and then I was just exhausted. So I literally just went straight to bed. Like, watched all by then, went to bed. Didn't get any more packing done. It is now Monday. I'm currently working from home, but I'm on my dinner break. So I'm using this dinner break to try and be as productive as possible because I'm then getting my eyelashes done straight after work. So then I'm going to be busy until, like, 7 o'clock. And then literally need to get everything sorted, packed, because I'm setting off at 6 a.m. to Manchester in the morning. So I'm always last minute, like that's just me so this part of the video i'm gonna focus on more of like the camping stuff that i'm taking like the stuff that i really need for camping so like toiletries and um, like all that kind of stuff like just the prep that i need um also one of my vintage parcels came yay and also my bershka order is due to come today i mean it said it was due to come by like one and it's now quarter past so so what i ordered from vintage was like just this little this was from bershka but obviously from vintage just this little cropped like rain it's not like a raincoat, but it is. It's like um like a shell jacket. But I just thought this looked really cool. This would go with like an outfit and like would make the outfit look a bit cool rather than having like a fucking super dry jacket on. Um, but yeah, this was actually five pound of vintage, so I'm gonna pack that. And then I've also got um a proper raincoat that I actually used to work at Go Ape, and this was my raincoat from Go Ape, so we'll just ignore that. Uh, but this is a really really good raincoat. So this is just for like during the day, obviously. We'll still be mooching about the festival pretty much the whole day um to get food and like just having a wander about so this is really good it's obviously not that fashionable but i think i'm just coming to terms with the fact that this festival is just not going to be we're not going to be able to wear the things i really want to wear because the weather is just not it's not looking good and then i'm also going to take this shell jacket which is from adenola got this in the staff sample sale um but yeah this is just quite like a cool color um again very just like i'm really into just like blacks and greens like very um kind of plain nothing too 
nothing too fancy but yeah i'm gonna pack that as well because again that's really thin and waterproof and then in terms of other camping gear i've actually got a head torch this is really good to have especially at night like if you go back to the tent um, and you need the light on this is a really good light as well i think it was only like eight pound from halfords um i'm trying to where do you turn it on oh there you go but yeah, it's a really good light um, and it also like you can hang it up in your tent. I also just bought from B&M one of these little ponche things. Just thought for during the day it's a little bit cool. It's pink as well so I thought it'd be a bit brighter. I'm going to take that. Also need a hairbrush. I'm just going to take this little hairbrush because to be honest like I've got really fine like hair. I don't really need much more than this. That is going in there as well. Hay fever tablets, need those. Definitely if you're camping as well, like you're on a field, if you suffer from hay fever, which I feel like majority of people have been suffering from hay fever recently. Like I never really suffered with hay fever until I've got to like this age, but I think it's because the pollen's just been really bad the past couple of years. Um, so yeah, hay fever tablets are a must. Firm fresh, no showers and camping four days. Don't need to give you any further explanation to that. Um, Plasters because at Park Life I wore some shoes and they literally wrecked my feet on the first day. So I've got some of these plasters just because I feel like you're always going to need plasters if you've been walking around for days on end. 100% these are a necessity to have with you. And then what was the last thing I bought? Oh, some mouthwash. Again, obviously for me, I just think that having mouthwash will be great, especially like. We're going to be brushing our teeth, obviously. But, you know, during the day, if your mouth feels a bit gross, I feel like you can just spill it out with mouthwash. So. My Bershka order has arrived. Yay. Let's have a look. So, I got this top, which, love. It also has, like, a tie neck at the back. So, the back's, like, a drop and has, like, a tie. Love that. Can't wait to try that on. And then I just bought this green cargo skirt. That actually looks tiny. Now I'm holding it up. It's a size 8, but that actually looks really, really short. But, oh well. Can't wait to try that on as well. So I'll try that on this afternoon. Um, just because I need to check if it fits before I end up taking it to Kendall Collins. <laughs> so then for the rest of my toiletries, I've got some hairspray. Um, some painkillers. <laughs> Always need painkillers. A toothbrush and toothpaste. And some perfume, like a little bottle of perfume. Also some deodorant. Um, and yeah, I think that's basically everything for my toiletry. I'm just going to put this all into one bag now um, as I'm speaking. But yeah, I think I did write a list. So I'm just going to double check on my list in case I've like missed anything. Um, I'm also going to take like pads and tampons just because you never know. I recently worked a festival in the Lake District and the amount of people that was coming up to, I was at like the front ticket desk thing, the amount of women that was coming up to me saying like, oh my God, like I've come on my period unexpectedly, like I've not got anything with me. Like I know I'm probably not, like it's probably not gonna happen, but I just, you have to be prepared for literally everything. Okay guys, I am back. Lashes are done. Not gonna lie, I look a bit crazy right now because I've got no other form of makeup on at all. So they actually don't look this in your face in real life, but on camera they look very black and dark. But in real life they actually look a lot more natural, so that's kind of annoyed me that they look like this on camera. But we move, it's fine. Just setting the car up, so I'm gonna go show you what I've done in the car. So ignore the spare underwear and stuff I've got in the back seat. That's my suitcase, pop-up tent. I've got a quill and a pillow. And then I've got this bag, which has got all my rain jackets in and literally just some random alcohol I found in my mum and dad's fridge that I'm gonna take. These are all my shoes. These Converse are obviously disgusting, but they're like my backup. So for if the other things get muddy, like these are already gross, so it doesn't really matter. Got my inflatable air bed. And yeah, just that's the final bits really. But yeah, that's literally basically everything. I've just got literally like my phone and my camera charger stuff and portable chargers that I need to pack. But that is pretty much my car set, ready to go for the morning. It's 8 p.m. So I feel like I'm not doing too bad. Um, I did think I was gonna be up so late tonight, just like finishing everything off. But I think because I've done it in stages, it's made it easier. Um, but yeah, I'm looking slightly rough today. I don't feel 100% today, but I think I'm just due on. I feel like that's just why I feel a bit shit and I've not ran in a few days and I should have ran yesterday and then I didn't and then I was going to run today but I've just run out of time. So yeah, I mean I could do a run now but if I'm honest like I just don't feel up to it and I'm going to have a really busy week so I feel like I'm, I've stayed as active as like I could. But yeah so I'm super super excited. 
to go. Um, the festival actually starts on Thursday, so I'm going to Manchester now for two days, and then me and Kirsten are heading to the lakes on Thursday for Candle, and I'm so excited. I'm going to be taking you guys with me, going to be trying to vlog as much as I physically can, but it will be like parts on camera, parts on phone, because I don't think you're allowed to take actual cameras onto the festival site, so like anything at the actual, in the festival, will be on my phone, but who cares, like, we're just going to have the best time, and yeah, I'll see you then.